Hey everyone, how are you doing this week? It's Marla. This is going to be a super, super fast drive-by perceptions review from moi on the e.l.f. moisture. This is the e.l.f. daily moisture stick. Everybody's sort of been talking about this and everyone seems to love it. I have a funny feeling I'm going to be in the minority on this review, but I will give you a description of it and give you my perceptions of it. I am a big fan of e.l.f. products. I really like a lot of their products. Everything I've tried so far in particular seems to have been a really kind of home run for me. I read a lot about this e.l.f. moisture stick. Unfortunately, I did not read where it said it is loaded with parabens. I know that doesn't bother some people, but I have sort of been on a mission of trying to get as many products out of my life that are par that contain parabens. Now, obviously, there are some products that I have a really hard time giving up because I have yet to find a comparable non-paraben product for it. But unless the product is such a super, super amazing product that it has to be a staple in my makeup routine, I try to phase it out if possible if it does contain parabens. This e.l.f. daily moisture stick is enriched with antioxidants and anti-aging ingredients like grape, cocoa, shea, avocado, macadamia, aloe, and chamomile. Sounds wonderful, but it also, like I said, contains a lot of parabens. Now for the description of this product. The best way to describe this product is it's a giant glue stick. That's what it looks like. You twirl it out, and any of you that have helped your children with projects where you've had to glue things know that that looks like a glue stick. And when you feel it, at first, it feels super, super cooling. It almost feels like you put water on your fingers, like cool water. It's, it has such a strange feeling. It, it's kind of really neat, the feeling that it gives. Uh, it's just super cool, and it, you think it's gonna be totally greasy, but when you feel it, it just feels kind of like a very moisturizing liquid that you just put on your fingers. Odor-wise, I know some people have commented this, they thought it smelled like burnt rubber, like burnt tires, but I am not getting that with my olfactory senses. I really don't smell much of anything. So either my 53-year-old nose is dead uh, when it comes to smelling stuff, or I am kind of being pretty accurate when, when I'm saying I don't smell really much of anything. It's not, it doesn't have anything offensive. I can't even describe it because I don't smell much of an odor in this. So that's kind of a plus for me. It's odorless. And it is... $6, which is also great because a lot of e.l.f. products are so inexpensive and you get a big bang for your buck. Uh, it's marketed as a moisture stick. It's supposed to be lightweight. You're supposed to put it on your face and it's supposed to be kind of very soothing and really help with kind of the dry spots. I think you can really, I think this is marketed as putting anywhere on your body that has dry spots, but it is marketed to be put on your face to kind of soothe your face, cool your face very lightweight and great for traveling obviously because it's super convenient it's in a tube it's not messy you can stick it in your purse and carry it with you unless you're in florida and you happen to leave your purse in the car it will come out and it will be a liquid but for those of you that don't live in a hot tropical climate in the summertime uh, then maybe it will work for you uh, to take with you and possibly leave in your car what I don't like about it is, for one thing, when I first got this, I thought about using it maybe on my skin during the day if I happen to notice that maybe, for example, let's say around my eyes, I wanted to just kind of liven those up a little bit. Maybe I thought they were looking a little dry looking, and I wanted to kind of put this on that area to kind of moisten it up. Uh, when I first put it on, I kind of have to, it kind of uh, messes with my foundation a little bit, so I do have to kind of go like this to kind of blend it in, but that's okay. And uh, it does feel, I think my, my only gripe with it, my, my only two gripes with it are the parabens um, and the fact that if I put it on my naked face without any makeup on, on any dry spot areas, to me, the tackiness of it kind of, it's just a little too sticky for me. That's just kind of my own personal senses that don't like it. It's just for daytime wear, under makeup, or even swiping it on top of makeup, it just leaves my face tackier than I would prefer during the day. 
Now, maybe if you want to swipe this on your face at nighttime before you go to bed, you don't care about parabens, that's okay. You don't mind the tackiness. But when I put this all over my naked face, my face feels tacky for a very long period of time. As a matter of fact, I had to end up washing it off because the tackiness for me did not seem to go away. And it did make my face just slightly a little uncomfortably itchy for some reason. But again, that could be my own reaction to the product. I normally don't have problems with products. I don't, normally don't have kind of irritation. My, my skin is not super hypersensitive that way, but um, that's kind of how my skin reacted to this moisture stick. Again, I am probably in the minority with my review on this moisture stick. Everybody seems to love it, but for me, I just have this problem. I have, I'm like hypersensitive with the touch and the feel of certain products. And this product in particular on my face leaves a tackiness in the daytime that I just don't kind of care for. But if you are looking for a cooling kind of moisture stick to apply on the dry patches of your face, you don't mind a little bit of tackiness, you don't care about parabens, then you probably will love this e.l.f. Daily Moisture Stick. Uh, so I'll come down kind of the middle of the road on this for some people. People that can deal with the, the ticky, uh, the, the ticky tacky. <laughs> people that can deal with the sticky tackiness of this and don't mind parabens, you're probably gonna give this five stars. People that have little issues with kind of a glue stick kind of feeling on the face, and really don't want any parabens in their life, then you're probably not gonna like this. So you can kind of judge for yourself, given that description of this product, whether or not you think you personally will like this e.l.f. Daily Moisture Stick. I will see you all very shortly. Take care, bye-bye from Marla.